<clears throat> All right. Well, hey, everybody. Grim Green, GrimGreen.com, back here today. Thank you so much for joining me. Welcome to the last review that I will be shooting in this office. What we're going to be talking about today is a vapey thing. I've got the Vicious Ant Spade, single battery, single 18650, fully mechanical squonker. It's very cool. It's very expensive. And in order to get to know it just a little bit better, what we're going to do is go up close, as we often do. That's right. Quick short upy closey time. Go. <laughs> Yeah, all right, well here we go. We're gonna talk about this Vicious Ant Spade, single 18650, fully mechanical squonker. It's called the Spade, and it's got this little sort of spade-shaped cutout on the side here, which is really nice for squonking. Having this on the corner right here is very conducive to like one-handed operation. It's a joy to use. Machined out of aluminum, and it's got these stabilized wood and acrylic doors on here. I got this blue one, which I think looks very very cool. It's held on by magnets that hold on to your battery, but it's mostly held in by pressure. When you put this door on here, you can kind of feel it snap into place. And the fit and finish is, is flawless. There's no play up, down, side to side on this door. It just feels overall insanely secure on there. I've just been running it with the blue original recipe recoil, but I've also been running it with this little Entheon RDA, which looks super cool on here. A little more black, a little less matchy matchy, but damn, that looks very cool on there as well. The original recipe recoil is 24 millimeters around, and as you can see, it comes right to the edge, right there to the edge. I wouldn't use anything bigger than a 24 millimeter atomizer on this perfectly, unless you wanna have a little bit of overhang. So let's look at the inside here after you pop this off, and it does take a little bit of effort to kind of pop that off. It does hold on there secure. Did I, did I mention that already? So welcome to the inside. You got your single battery, 18650 right here, as well as your juice bottle. And the battery is held in here with a little thumb screw on the bottom. So when you wanna change your batteries, you kind of give it a little bit of a one, two, three, four, you know, just loosen it and your battery comes out easy peasy. And you also have this kind of interesting juice bottle loading system as well as a mechanical switch right there. You can see the two contacts kind of hitting each other. It's been fine. It hits nice and hard. I have had zero issues with any misfires or anything right there. It's nice, solid, hits every time. Now the way that you get this juice bottle out of here is see this little hole right here? There's supposed to be a little pin inside that hole and it is the tiniest, dinkiest, little tiny dinky pin that I have ever seen in my life and I successfully lost it within the first few days of owning and using this mod. It's just gone. It's just gone and there's no replacements. So I'm going to be using this little twisted messes tool, but the way that you're supposed to take this bottle out for refilling or cleaning, and I just want to go on the record and say, when I refill my squonks, I use things like the Geek Vape flask to refill it. It's a much easier process. I really only take the bottles out of my squonks now when I'm going to switch over a flavor and I need to completely clean it out. If you don't have any of those, geek vape sort of you know flasks or multiple different types of bottles for filling up the squonks from the outside you are gonna have to take this out to fill it up and if you flip it around there's a little hole right there so you're supposed to put your little tool in this little hole and press and the bottle sort of magically disengages itself and comes out right there then to fill it up all you have to do is kind of unscrew this bleh your juice into the bottle screw this back down it's not a cumbersome event, but it can get uh, very, very leaky. As you can see, all I did was squeeze the bottle a little bit. That's just the risk that you run with a lot of squonkers. If the bottle is outside of the mod and you squeeze it, it's designed to shoot juice out of it. So any little pressure that you kind of put on it when you're gripping it and screwing this down, man, juice is going to come out the top, which is why I like to use the other sort of uh, external bottle filling systems. But with that said, I think the way that the bottle goes in and out of this mod is pretty interesting, is pretty unique. And it seems to be just a never ending cycle of juice leaking once you take this out of here. This happens with almost damn near every squonk that I have. If I accidentally squeeze it and juice comes out the top and goes all over the bottle, I take my little rag and you gently, 
gently have to clean all this juice off because if you squeeze the bottle again, if you're accidentally wiping and you press too hard, more juice is gonna come out the top, which is another argument for those external bottle filling systems. I think they just work a lot better than yanking your bottle out and filling it up. And then there's fully on the inside, very, very randomly and without warning, I've sometimes seen some juice on the inside of here. It's a squonker mod, so juice just kinda gets some places sometimes. I've not come across a completely flawlessly sort of clean squonking system ever. I always will have a little bit of juice somewhere inside, whether that be from just accidentally squeezing it, maybe having juice on the outside of the bottle. It's one of those things I feel like with squonkers, I'm always doing a little bit of good housekeeping in cleaning up my juice. Now, Vicious Ant also makes spare bottles, so if you have a juice right here with the juice you like, you can fill up two of them. So on the go, you can use the little included tool, which you pr probably have lost already or anything like a screwdriver maybe even like a fine tip pen will be able to do that but the idea is you're supposed to be able to swap these out once this bottle is empty you grab the spare bottle out of your pocket or connected to your keychain and you kind of slide it back in here and there's no wrong way to do this you just kind of set it in the little uh, opening right there and press it in that's it it is complete now so let's put this battery back in here positive side up we're gonna tighten that thumb do thumb screw down just a little bit until it's snug Perfect. Door goes back on. Atomizer goes back on. And yeah, that's the Vicious Ant Spade right there up close and personal. What we're going to do right now is we are going to get back out to normal view. We're going to vape this guy. Loving it, L loving this little single battery 18650 squonk life. Of course, for me, this all started with that Asmodus Luna squonker mod. I loved it. Things like the original Pulse from Tony B, things like the SQ from Signature Tips. I really like those smaller single battery squonkers. And so I had a pretty good feeling that I was gonna enjoy this squonker from Vicious Ant. It's just real well made. Top to bottom, all the fit and finish, all the machining on it, it is just beautiful. They have a variety of very cool stabilized wood and acrylic doors. I saw this blue one in the display case at ECC and I said, Oh, that one. I just think it looks really pretty, really beautiful mod. It's boxy, but it's also kind of rounded on the back and rounded on the bottom. And if you're a right hand user, if you vape with your right hand, this is absolutely a one handed operation. You have your button right here and your squonk bottle right here, and you can just vape until your battery's dead. And I always treat single battery squonkers a little bit different than I would say treat a single battery mech mod. With a single battery mech mod, I want a little bit warmer of a vape. I want a little bit more performance from it. From it. But for some reason, when I'm using these little squonkers, I like to build a little bit higher. This is a really simple Ruby build in here. 24 gauge Anarchist Niachrome. I did an eight wrap around a three millimeter, came out to right around 0.25 ohms. So the build I have in here isn't necessarily like a, a, a huge airflow, competition sort of clouds bro clouds build it's really more of a nice mellow flavor build and i like to take a really long sort of extended drag and release just a large flavorful weather system But enough about how I vape. Let's actually talk about this mod. I can tell that it's running a little bit dry and I might need to squonk it. So I don't even have to change hands. I just go boop like that. And I let go, wait for the sound. Good to vape again. Size of this is just beautiful. It fits in my hand perfectly. Really insanely ergonomic to hold. It's machined out of aluminum. So it feels a little bit more durable than like a full plastic sort of box mod, squonker mods that are out there. I like the bottle loading system, except I don't really use it enough to kind of take advantage of it. Like I said, I have my Geek Vape flask and I got this other one from Stentorian Vapor. This is how I like to fill up my squonk bottles. I'm on board with 
these. So I don't really utilize that juice bottle loading and unloading system. It's, it's very cool the way that they did it. I just don't use it enough. I basically really like everything about this squonker, everything except that price. These things are pricey, which I wouldn't expect anything less from Vicious Ant. Vicious Ant has always had a little bit more high-end, more pricey stuff for sale. This spade right here, $190. So yeah, vape budget hands. If your vape budget hands didn't explode yet, then yeah, you're gonna need your vape budget hands. This is this is something high-end, this is something expensive, this is something that if you wanna buy it, you're gonna have to save up your money and buy it. Now, if we're gonna play the Aliens game or the FDA game where they come and take everything I have, I have nothing. I have no tanks, no mods, no mechs, no squonkers, no nothing. Is the Vicious Ant Spade something I would seek out and buy? Ugh, probably not. It's $190 for a single 18650 squonker. I love it, but I don't love it enough to pay $190 for it, especially when there's less expensive squonkers on the market that I actually like a little bit more, but that certainly doesn't mean that this is a bad squonker. It's actually an unbelievable squonker. It's actually a stellar squonker. It's just an expensive squonker. It's definitely a high-end squonker. And again, this isn't for the mass market. This isn't for everybody. This is for the people that it appeals to. And those people are, are the target demographic for this. People that look at $190 and go, I need to have that squonker. How much does it cost? Ring me up, friend. Oh yeah, enough rambling from me. It is what it is. This is the Vicious Ant Spade Squonker, and it is awesome, and it is also quite expensive. But that's what I got for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, this is it. Let's keep on vaping.